For many of us, the holidays means travel, and travel is something that I talk a lot about on my channel. I really like to pack light and focus a lot of energy on getting everything into a carry-on and being able to mix and match. But then I will usually forget about my travel outfit until the last second, and then I have to throw something together that I don't really love. I, it's such an afterthought. So I thought it'd be helpful in today's video if I shared some cozy but still chic travel outfits. These are really easy to put together, they're comfortable, they're a little bit dressed so you don't feel totally out of place in the airport and then on the plane and then when you land on the other end and then also they can maximize the pieces in your wardrobe so you can wear your heavy items save on space there but still look great and travel light so let's get started so the first cozy and chic travel outfit that I want to go over is a sweater and pants and I love this as a base because you can change this and customize it to suit your preferences and what you personally like to wear but for the sake of this outfit I wanted to go for a turtleneck because I love those this time of the year and then I wanted to pair that with a pair of cropped straight leg black pants and this color palette of this taupey color and the black is something I'm loving right now and it's really versatile and very very chic so you don't feel out of place it's not too casual and it's not too dressy and I also love this because you can pair this with a great pair of boots and boots instantly dress it up so for travel and something that you want to be comfortable and also functional I would wear your pair of boots that are the heaviest so you save space in your uh, luggage and then on top of that go for something that's walkable so that's going to be a block heel for me no more than two inches and something that fits really snug I also love boots this time of the year because of course they keep you warm but then also if you have to go through security at the airport and you have to take your shoes off you've got socks on underneath so you're not going to walk barefoot on the airport airport floor and kind of protect yourself a little bit and then I also think this is great because you can throw a tailored jacket over top and especially if you choose something in a really structured fit, something that looks really, really tailored to you, that dresses everything up even further. So you're wearing something really comfortable, but it just looks like you put a little bit more thought and intention into it. Now I want to show you kind of a variation on this theme. So I've still got the sweater and pants and the black boots for this first look, but instead of a tailored jacket, I went with a bomber jacket. This is a vintage one that I've had had for a little bit now and I love how it dresses it down a little bit but it still feels very current and especially when you take that and pair that with the lighter colored pants it feels very intentional so this is definitely going to be up to you and your discretion if you're worried about staining light colored pants maybe go for a darker color but if you want to look like you put a lot of thought into your outfit going for a color that's unexpected like a pair of light pants like this it's one of the easiest ways to do that and then I also love this because you could change the color of the Bomber, maybe go for something a little bit lighter, change the color of the sweater, again, lighten it up a little bit, and then pair that with sneakers that tie all of it together. And sneakers are great for travel because of course they're very functional and they're very comfortable. And something like the Sambas are really popular right now, but it's a really timeless silhouette. So it doesn't feel too trendy, but it still feels like you're involved in fashion. And these are pieces that you can then dissect a little bit further and wear in various outfits once you get to your destination. So now, you can take this outfit and customize it even further and swap the sweater for a t-shirt this is especially great if you're traveling somewhere warm and you don't need a sweater it's gonna be way too hot you can take a t-shirt pair it with again those straight leg black pants and then throw a blazer on top you get a little bit of a deconstructed suit effect and you can wear the blazer separately with another outfit once you land and it also keeps it nice and stiff so it doesn't get all wrinkly when you fold it and put it in your luggage and then also I like this because you could go for boots or sneakers and the sneakers again are great if you're going maybe somewhere warmer you can use that to kind of keep it lighter dress it down a little bit and of course still be functional and practical and then the ankle boots dress it up so you're taking that more relaxed combination but by taking the blazer that matches the pants and then throwing on those matching boots it feels very thoughtful and very intentional such a great outfit something you could definitely wear once you land you could go straight to dinner if you needed to and you wouldn't feel too out of place now for most people jeans are out of the question for a travel outfit but I want to consider it here because of a couple reasons the first they can sometimes take up a lot of space in your luggage so if you want to save on that space you can wear those jeans and then also the way that fashion is moving right now we have a lot of oversized jeans a little bit more relaxed silhouette and those are really comfortable especially if you choose something in a thinner denim nothing too too stiff and structured you can sit very comfortably in those especially if it's kind of a shorter flight so maybe not internet 
international or multi-hour, but if you're going like two and a half, maybe three hours, I think jeans are perfectly okay to wear and they instantly create an outfit, but they're still really comfortable. So for this look, I wanted to show you two variations. The first is essentially what I'm wearing now, which is a nice cozy sweater, a belt to tie it all together, and then black boots. And this is such a great base because you could put a bomber over top, you could put a structured jacket over top, and you're gonna look so sophisticated and polished. And again, you can wear this straight to dinner or out to lunch. You don't need to change once you get to your destination. It looks really, really thoughtful. And then the other version is with sneakers. And sneakers, especially if you go again for that classic Samba style and maybe keep the color palette a little bit light, and then you go for a quarter zip up top. I'm loving those right now. They're really, really comfortable. And all together, this creates that more relaxed, more casual um, look. And also you could layer a t-shirt underneath. So if you're going somewhere warm, all you have to do is take the quarter zip off when you land. And now you've got t-shirt and jeans and sneakers. Really, really easy outfit. And and then to tie it all together, again, throw that structured jacket. And especially if you go for something a little bit longer and in an unexpected color, it looks so intentional. And it looks like an actual outfit rather than something you threw on and ran out the door. Now for this last outfit, I wanted to put together something that felt a little bit festive and feels very wintry. So I went with this printed sweater and this type of print on it is very, very perfect for this time of the year. It feels like snowflakes almost. It feels a little bit holiday, but not too much because the color palette is really subdued and then I layered a turtleneck underneath because I want it to be nice and warm in my mind as I was putting this outfit together this would be perfect if you're going somewhere very cold maybe you're gonna land and it will be snowing and layering up is great because when you're on the plane maybe if you get warm you could take your sweater off and still have that turtleneck and then you could put it back on when it's cold when you get to your final destination and then keeping with the idea of wearing jeans I wanted to pair it with this pair and I've had these for a while now I really like them because they're they're high waist. They've got really great pleating in the front. They're a little bit looser. They're really, really comfortable, but then they taper down to the ankle. And I think that's perfect for going for a chunkier boot. So again, if you're going to pack a chunky pair of boots, maybe you're going somewhere cold and you need this to be functional. This looks great all worn together. And you save a lot of space in your luggage because these boots would take up so much room. So you can put other sweaters and things in there instead of having to lug these around. And then to finish it all off, a great pair of sunglasses. It instantly ties your look together plus they're really functional and practical which you know that I love and then a tailored jacket again it just ties it all together and it's really the icing on the cake and especially this lighter style I'm loving right now but you could go for any color you could go for black if you want something really functional and practical also I think dark gray would look beautiful with this color palette and then also you can go for maybe a bomber or a leather like a leather jacket like I styled earlier or a puffer jacket they would all work really beautifully so customize it to what you need and if you are traveling this holiday season, I hope that these outfits are helpful for you. I hope that you're able to pack really effortlessly, have a great trip and a great holiday season. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.